Well done guys, paper one is now complete and all of that hard work is hopefully going to be paid off. In this video, I want to talk about the paper and my honest reaction to the paper. So, of course, I don't get to see the paper. However, I've been looking through the comments on TikTok and YouTube and thank you for everyone that's um, remembered what came up in the test. So, the common problem or the common thing that everyone found difficult was the difference between IPv4 IPv6. Again, if you've been following the channel for a long time, you know that I've created a short going through the differences between those and MAC address. And on that note, you should be revising from every source. I know that some people were just focusing on the live stream. However, if you watch the all of paper one you need to know, I go through um, what the actual difference is between IPv4 and IPv6. The main thing was not knowing was whether it was a dot or a colon. Um, the second issue that most students had was the 8 marker. That was a surprise. We've never seen an 8 marker which um, is on open source and proprietary source. I did predict that it will come up, but I didn't predict that it was going to be an 8 marker. So, as long as you've um, talked about the differences between it and perhaps included the copyright um, legislation, you should be able to get um, some marks of it. And I I'm not too sure about the wording of the question. Maybe it allowed, maybe it was joint with ethical issues or something, but I'm not too sure. But whatever it is, if you have mentioned the main differences between both of them, I guarantee that you probably get two or three marks. Again, I don't know what the question is, but other than those two questions, the rest was pretty standard stuff. So I did predict that there's going to be a question on star and mesh, which did come up. Um, also the binary stuff, deanery stuff, that's all standard stuff, which you should be getting right. Also, I did say that it would be uh, focused on focus more towards like sound but we did only see a one mark I assume from the comments. We pretty much covered uh, most of the topics that did come up in the live stream. Thank you for everyone that did join, um, the chat was going crazy but um, we did manage to do go through the main topics. Comment down below if you want to see a paper 2 live stream like how I did for paper 1. And now in terms of grade boundaries I can't really speak much because as you know paper 2 is pending and last year we saw that paper 1 was easy and then paper 2 everyone found it very very challenging so would this be the same this year only time will tell however i do predict that it might be a similar level of difficulty to previous um, 2023 paper 2 however you can go check out the predicted topics link will pop up. If this paper didn't go well for you, just leave it behind. Trust me. Forget about it and focus all your energy towards paper two. Paper two, I've gone through a Python video, which you need to definitely check out. All of paper two that you need to know, which you definitely have to check out. And there's notes on the website, which you definitely have to check out. And make sure you're doing all the exam practice questions. The IP address question was on a past paper. It should come up. It's very similar. It's a fill in the blank question. However, what they did this time is they removed the fill in the blank and they asked you to actually um, describe it. So things like this you should be using to make your notes. Again, I've always been banging on about exam definition. If this hasn't been a wake up call, then it has to be one and you have to take notes from the exam definition. I've also, on the notes, they're mostly from exam definitions and textbooks. So what things you can do for paper two are build on your programming fundamentals. If, it, if the paper is going to be challenging, it's going to be challenging for those that are weak on the programming question. Those marks are usually six, six, 12, or around 20 marks worth of coding questions. So if you don't know that, that's gone basically. So best way to practice that is past paper questions and my website. So go check it out. Also on Saturday, we have a programming masterclass, which we're going to be going over the basics, the basics of programming and pseudocode. 
if you're if you're one of those people that are weak on programming i highly encourage you to join this session i'm going to be going through it's basically like one-to-one -one tuition you can ask me anything you want and you straight away get the answer and wherever you're going wrong there's this is your chance to actually get it correct so i highly recommend you you join it because programming is essential for paper two the rest of the questions you can memorize and memorize the content but programming is a skill. The more you do it, the better you're going to get. And half the time, you haven't been taught the basics. The basics, the fundamentals are important. If you're one of those picking A-level your science next year, this is definitely going to help you because um, A-level is mostly coding for paper two side of things. And yeah, hopefully um, paper two goes well. But thank you for everyone that has supported the channel. And yeah, I'll see you shortly.